break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, but you come back That attraction we can't fight Come back to Vlogmas Day 14 Guys, I can't believe we've been filming and uploading every single day for 14 whole days yeah. But anyway Welcome to Vlogmas 14. Today is well, today is a Tuesday. So yesterday I said I was supposed to do a delivery, but I didn't do it because we postponed it. So I'm supposed to do that around 9:30 right now, Zuma to nine. And then right now, right now I'm at Coco Mamutwendi in Chipo because we're trying to see if we can get a few things. So that's the plan for the day. I'm supposed also to meet my mom, but I think I saw a message where she can't say it. If she doesn't come through, it means I'll probably be home all day today. So yeah, let's go inside and let's just get this vlog started. Oh, we got that young love, yeah, that dumb love. We got We did so many rounds today. We went to Kokom, we went to Dumile. Where else did we go? We went into town to do my delivery. We went, where else? I don't know, we did so many things. So after Kokom, we passed through my house to drop off my packages because I had bought a few things. And then now we're at my sister's house. Chipo needs to go and collect a fabric. It's it's same level, so look on And guess what? It's raining, let me show you. Look at that, guys isn't god good i'm so glad it's raining if you watched the previous vlog but i'm just glad it's about to rain so it's actually raining so now let's go to Bordeaux. Love, love, we got that young. Sometimes I wanna give all of me. Sometimes I wanna scream, Oh my God, you got me in so much trouble now. Very busy day now. We are at Zara. Uh, at the same level. It's DC old clothing. Usually you guys usually ask where this shop is, but anyway. Uh, it's next to above Econet building. So right now I'm trying to look for a dress because my birthday is coming up next week, Tuesday. And I'm trying to see if I can find something to wear. So yeah, let's go through. I found the swag dress, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. back home yo oh, what a day i think it's somewhere around three or half three i think and uh i just got in so we went to zara like i said earlier my birthday is on tuesday so i was looking for a dress to wear on the day and i got the dress 
I got the dress, but I'm not going to show you guys. <laughs> you would have to wait for next week Wednesday. But anyway, I have to take it to the dry cleaners because I need it to be clean and crisp. And what else did we do today? We just chilled really because of the rain. I had to come back home, but we did a lot of errands that we needed to do together. So I just got back home. My kids are with my helper as usual. And I think for today, I'm just going to chill and play with them. I'll see if I can cook with you guys. If I can't do that, then I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> are going to talk about giving i know this is a very sensitive topic especially when it's attached to the church mainly uh this conversation obviously i picked it up from the previous vlog there was a conversation i was having with my sister and we were talking about how you know we have to give to the church and stuff so today i wanted us to talk about giving just in general i think that is blessed if you are able to give you are blessed because there are people who have money who have resources but they just struggle to share those things with other people and the good thing about being a christian is you are taught how important it is to give even to the poor even to the people around you who are struggling so i just thought during this type of the year you know you know you you know the people around you there are people who are struggling you know maybe a neighbor who's not doing so well you know maybe your helper needs your assistance and i think this is the time of the year that i think we need to practice in giving more and generally and i think just the law of the universe there is joy in giving that and receiving and when you give you definitely are creating room for yourself so i just wanted to say for today we're not going to make uh, this part of the vlog really long i just wanted to encourage you guys could find someone i'm not affiliated to any charity organizations or anything like that but this time of the year i make sure that my helper is well taken care of outside of her uh, earnings and make sure that by the time she goes for christmas i go an extra mile to make sure that she and her family are comfortable there are people around us who help us with you know gardening people who just help us to make sure that the neighborhood is looking clean and neat those are my people those are the people i like to help sometimes even the street i'll just give someone some money or whatever but for me those are the people that are closest to me because remember charity begins at home you need to assist even relatives and when you do that guys the other thing about giving that uh, i remember in the other vlog when we were talking about black text the thing about giving uh i said this also in the other vlog that i think it was Imanu Makandi who has I saw a small clip of the, of the preaching on TikTok. He was saying, when you give someone for the first time, you've created a very beautiful surprise. Munanengari happy, good. Ah, no, the so and so gave me this. I was not expecting it. I'm really happy. The second time, you have created anticipation. The third time, probably, you have created entitlement. So, in most cases, when Manodo Batsir Wamu Penyuka, they are not perfect the same way you're not perfect so and they never say anything to you and then i like i like to help people but at the same time i also want to you know feel like i've done something for you but as though you were supposed to help them and not even say thank you so if you're one of those people also when you receive things just acknowledge the help the assistance that you're getting from people because you have helped so much in your life and and now, when you don't, it's almost like uh, you are at fault. What a paramosha good and it am now cheap to cook and debate the nature cut. But at the same time, we are all trying, we are all struggling, we are trying to thrive in this life, and you can only do so much. So that's what I wanted to say to the people who are able to give, please give to the people who are receiving, be thankful. Just make sure that also you acknowledge the help that you are receiving. Uh, that's what I wanted to say uh, in today's uh, word of the wise nugget. Also, just if you have any other thoughts about giving, make sure that you leave them in the comment section down below. Otherwise, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have so many things I need to do. Uh, but yeah, we chat about it tomorrow. Bye. I think it's jealousy, but hell with it, still a melody. Or maybe I got problems.